It is Wednesday, so you know what that means. It is time to update the Detroit Lions defensive rank through week seven. We've been doing this all year long, trying to see where we're going to land at the end of the year. Aiden Hutchinson was out last week and is out for potentially the season. We wonder how big of a hit would the Detroit Lions defense take? It's actually very surprising about this. So let's take a look right now. We're going to go back to week six so we can kind of get an update as to what we are dealing with in week six compared to week seven. So the defense last week, the total yards, <laughs> the Detroit Lions were 13th in D. Oh, man, 13th is that that's supposed to say 13th, which was up nine spots from week five passing. They were 27th, which stayed the same from week five rushing defense. They were third was up one spot sacks. They were 15th up six spots points per game. They were eighth up two spots and turnover differential. They were sixth, which was up nine spots from the week before. This next one here is quite interesting. The defense through week seven total yards last week, they were 13th, they're 18th, down five spots. Passing for the third week in a row, passing yards, the Lions are at 27th. I don't even know how you could actually do that. Rushing yards, they dropped two, spot, uh, two spots. Going from fifth or third to fifth sacks, they went up from 15th to 10th, up five spots. Points per game dropped one spot going from eighth to ninth. And turnover differential going from fourth to or sixth to fourth, which is up two spots. So just if you look at it here, last week again, that's pretty cool, man. The arrow's there and week seven there. So again, week six defensive ranking, ranking and week seven defensive ranking. That's actually not bad. That's not as bad as I would have imagined that it would be losing Aiden Hutchinson. That's kind of a big deal. I think the only thing that really, there's two things that stand out. We went up on sacks without Hutch. We got four, but it was very difficult to get to Sam Darnold, and we had to use our linebacker. Now, you might think because we went up five spots, in sacks that we don't that means we don't need a pass rush that's not what that means we were we blitzed our linebackers quite a bit out of the four sacks that we got against the Minnesota Vikings the defensive line only accounted for one the linebackers had the other three three so when I speak of a pass rush I'm specifically talking about the front four that's what I'm talking about or if your designation is defensive line so we went up but we could still use a pass rush. The passing defense is something that surprisingly has not improved. Now, let me put this before the comment section. We have been having a huge debate during the offseason about which is more important, a pass rush or the secondary. I have been of the mind that a bolstered pass rush can help a subpar secondary. I have gotten pushback in the comment section that they both do the same thing, or in some cases, the secondary helps the pass rush. I think it's quite obvious. So here's, here's my question to you is based on these numbers, let's look again, based on these numbers and the progression that we've been following week to week to week, do you think that a pass rush helps the secondary more than the secondary helps a pass rush? All right, here is, again, week six with we lost Aiden halfway through the game. This is week seven without Aiden the full game. Week seven, I'm sorry, week six with Aiden half the game. Week seven without Aiden the full game. I think based on the numbers and if we watch the progression of the defense, and the fact that the passing defense, this is with Aiden, though. Aiden was there. If we go back three weeks, the passing defense has been 27th three weeks in a row. That would take us back to, I think it was, who did we play? We played, I want to say Seattle, because Seattle lost three 
Yes, Seattle, because that would take us back to Seattle. We had a bye week. They didn't. So beginning with Seattle, where Aiden Hutchinson had 15 pressures by himself, beginning with Seattle, going to Dallas, and now with the Minnesota Vikings, two of those, a game and a half of those had Aiden Hutchinson. A game and a half did not. Our pass defense has not changed. So imagine, I guess, I guess it, it, it to some extent it worked out this year because you would assume that it would drop. You would assume that it was dropped. But I honestly believe that that could be because the linebackers got there. But then if you bring the linebackers, then you expose the, the middle of the field. So I still believe, even though with Hutch, you got to remember, imagine, and the reason that I think this matters and the fact that it didn't move matter. It might be like, well, Derek, it didn't move. But imagine if we had somebody opposite Aiden. I guarantee you that that pass defense – that pass defense would go down. So I'm going to make a prediction. If the Lions get Zadarius Smith, Harold Landry, Miles Garrett, Trey Hendrickson, any set of pass rushers that can, can impact the game, I think we're going to watch that number go down. That's my thought. Because if you recall, Aiden is doing most of, most of the work on that defensive line. In the Seattle game, Aiden got 15 pressures by himself. In the Minnesota Vikings game, the entire team got 15 pressures. All 11 men on defense, and I'm including all 11 men. I'm not even including. I don't even. I don't even know if the stat included second tier and secondary players, so linebackers and defensive backs. If we get legit pass rushers, even if they're mid-tier, that number in pass defense will go down. That's just what I think. It could change. It might not be the case. We may or may not find out. So let me know your thoughts. How are you? I, I mean, overall, though, I'm not disappointed. It looks good to be. So that would mean, remember, our defense ended 18th in the league last season. Currently, after... For the Detroit Lions, six games and seven weeks, it sits at 18th. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I must admit, that's pretty good. I still think it's going to take us to get to get over the hump. It is going to take getting to the quarterback. I truly, truly believe that. So through set through six games, our defense is exactly where it ended in total yards last season. At the end of the regular season last year, we had the 18th ranked defense in yards allowed. Very intriguing to see how this thing is going to pan out. But this is an interesting series. I'm enjoying myself making these videos and comparing last week to this this week. So you know what? As a matter of fact, I've been meaning to do this. I will make a playlist with all of these videos in it so we can kind of chronicle if you guys want to binge watch and chronicle how it's gone, how it's dropped throughout the season, then you can do that. As a matter of fact, I'll do that right now. This channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. Don't forget, I will be at the game on Sunday. So let me know if you guys are going to be there. Maybe we can meet by we can set something up and just kind of meet uh, at a certain time or so. This channel, I already said that. <laughs> you can be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You make so many videos, eventually you start to get tired. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Unless something happens, this is it for tonight. I think it's time for me to go to bed.